So if you've never used Adobe Photoshop before, one of the immediate things that you might struggle to find is how you can rearrange your layers in your composition. So unlike other software where you might be used to functions such as center back or center front or send forwards and backwards, in Adobe Photoshop, it works slightly differently. And even though I will be covering how you can use those functions in this video, there is a much easier way we can do this in Photoshop. Great, so I have Adobe Photoshop open and hopefully you can also follow along on your own devices. Right here we have a few elements, a simple text object and a circle, a pixelated circle layer. Now what we're going to try to do is move this text and rearrange it so it appears in front of our circle. So this circle almost becomes a border to our text. As you can see, if I move the text at the moment by using the move tool, that's this first option on the left hand toolbar right here. The shortcut for the tool is V and that's both for Windows and Mac if you want to start familiarizing yourself with those. And what we can do just by having that tool selected is move this text in any position on our composition. As you can see at the moment, it appears behind our layer. So how can we move it in front? Well, like I said in the intro, what you can do is actually use those functions just like we use in software such as Microsoft Word. So in order to do this, what you have to do is on the layers panel on the right hand side here, this is where we can control all of our layers. You have to make sure that the right layer is selected. And then all you have to do is go to layer at the top of the windows here. And just by going down that menu, you can go to the arrange option. And from here, you'll find all of the functions that you might be already used to. So for example, we can bring to front. And just by selecting that option, Photoshop has now rearranged our text element here. So it actually appears in front of our circle. And I can complete the move just by dragging it into the center there. Now on the layers panel, I actually have another object too, which is this vector shape here, which in this case is a square. So all I have to do to unhide that is just by pressing on this eye icon here. As you can see, that now shows up in my composition. So what if in this case, I actually wanted this square to appear in between those two layers? Well, once again, what we could do is we could go to layer and then go to arrange. And in this case, what we'd want to do is bring this layer forward. We wouldn't want to bring it to the front because in that case, it would actually bring it in front of our text as well. And we actually want it to appear between those two layers. So in this case, we'd have to select bring forward. And as you can see, that's now appeared in between those two layers. So I can rearrange that like so. Now, the only case in which I actually see these functions be useful is if you have a lot of layers. And the reason I say that is because it's actually much easier to rearrange your layers just by using the layer panel itself. So for example, we have our three layers here and actually the layer panel itself represents a hierarchy. So in the layer panel on the right hand side here, I can drag this element out and actually move it slightly closer to our layers just so it's slightly easier to see. We have these three different layers. So we have our text object and then our square and our circle. And then we also have our background, which at the moment is locked, so I can't actually edit it. And one of the things you might have noticed when we were rearranging our layers using those functions is that the layers actually switched order in this layers panel. And that's because the layers panel works in a hierarchy. So the layers that are on top of the list in our layers panel are actually at the front of our composition. Whereas the layers lower down, such as in this case, the background, that in this case would be the back of our composition. So as shown here, we have our text object at the front, then our square, which is in between the circle and the type. The type is another word for text in Photoshop. So if, for example, I wanted to move my type in between the square and circle, what I could do is literally drag the type layer. So just making sure it's selected, I can hold and drag on it. And when I move it in between two other layers, still holding it in, you can see this blue line appears. And any time that blue line appears, if I let go, it'll actually be placed between those two layers. Now I can do the same if I want to move the circle in front of the other two layers, which would actually hide the majority of both. So I can hold and drag that. And as shown on the left there, it's now placed in front of both of the other layers. Now for me personally, the only time I actually consider using the arrange options here is if I have a lot of layers. So for example, if I have a hundred layers and I want to quickly be able to move the top layer all the way to the bottom, I'd maybe consider using the center back function. But as you can see, you can also use these shortcuts on the right hand side. So once again, I'd maybe refer to using the shortcut instead of having to go all the way to the menu, the layers menu and actually find this function itself. So I hope you found that video useful and you can now start creating really interesting compositions by rearranging your layers. If you're interested in learning how you can actually draw shapes in Adobe Photoshop, then do check out the video in the top right hand corner of the end screen. And otherwise, do remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and do remember to subscribe to the channel to make sure you never miss a new Photoshop tutorial.